Hi everyone, my name is Fola Afolayon and I'm a tarot reader, Reiki practitioner, and artist integrating art and healing. And I'm here to offer a reading for the month of September, 2022. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I'm gonna to do a reading with the tarot cards and also an oracle card reading as well. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with the crow tarot for our tarot portion, and then we'll transition into the oracle deck. As always, I like to get grounded and call in the spiritual teams of support and take a few deep breaths, excuse me. And if you'd like to do the same, I invite you to do it if that resonates with you. So I'm gonna hold the deck and just take a few deep breaths and get grounded before we shuffle. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors who support our highest good, please assist us with what we need to know for the month of September. Thank you for your love, truth, and understanding. May we please have clarity and protection during this reading. Ashe, what do we need to know for September, September, September? So the first card that we get is the world, the world, the end of a cycle, the completion of something. So this month, something might be wrapping up within your life, a theme, something that you're working on, a project, perhaps even a move, but something's coming to an end and September is an invitation to kind of integrate the lessons, take an evaluation of what you've learned on the journey. Um, what you're taking with you, what you're leaving behind, and how you're going to move forward. So it's a time to really integrate everything that's come up for you on this journey, this cycle, whether it's with work or a relationship or a project, it's the end of something. Something is coming full circle to a close. And especially with the Mercury retrograde coming up, this is a great time to reevaluate, re review, and reassess things. So just taking time to be mindful of that, whether it's through journaling or through meditation or any other form of reflection that works or resonates with you, this is a great month to do so. And knowing that if things feel like they're coming to an end, learning how to honor them and even grieve them as, if necessary, because the next card <laughs> that comes up talks about that as well. So giving yourself space to grieve and process because endings can be happy and sad. Two things can be true. It's not always like, it never is an all or nothing kind of thing when we're ending something and we're starting something new. There could be even fear and anxiety about starting this new thing or sadness about leaving loved ones behind or a certain project or passion behind for now. So this overall, this big major arcana theme of like coming full circle, reevaluating, ending and thinking about how far you've come and also taking time to celebrate how far you come, even if it might not feel big to you, you know, how we sometimes are judgmental with ourselves or compare ourselves to one another or compare successes, which is BS. <laughs> but you know, the mind and the way that we're conditioned to compare ourselves to one another. So just taking time to honor how far you've come and celebrate as well as grieve at the same time because the next card that we get is the Five of Cups. 
So there might be a feeling of loss here, of sadness, you know, the cups dealing with emotions. So this thing might be coming to an end and it's, you know, might bring up those feelings of sadness. So just saying it's okay to feel sad and take time to honor that, take time to make space for it in whatever healthy way um, is available to you. Talk it out with a therapist or counselor or someone who you, you trust, who you can confide in, who has the capacity for that. Um, this is definitely a month of that, you know, leaving things behind. And so there might be a little bit of sadness and that's okay, you know? I mean, it, you know, not in a bypassing way, but like, you know, it's okay to, to feel sad and, and, you know, processing your emotions in a healthy way could be helpful for you this month as this lesson is integrating, as things are coming to an end in some way. And this could be work related because we get the eight of pentacles here. We get the eight of pentacles, which is all about working, studying. So you could be in school for something or starting something, starting to study something new. Um, for business owners, this is a great card for like working on your craft, um, continuing to work on your business. The number eight is about business and enterprise as well. So this could be something that you've been working on for a while that it's time to create a new chapter or time to study something new or time to elevate and this is letting you know that you know continue to keep the faith within yourself and your process as you're working and also this might be a great time to reassess your values and how you're aligning with those values when it comes to your passions or when it comes to um, this could be a relationship for some people as well what kind of values do you want to embody and what steps are you going to take in order to do that um, in a compassionate way not a judgmental shaming way because we all mess up we're humans and we're never going to get things perfect but just kind of reassessing your values as you're creating this new thing as you're working on this business or in school or um, creating this new life also like finding ways to stay focused will support you this month too like what helps you um, stay focused or what helps you stay grounded as you're working on something or working towards a goal and then the next card we get is the page of cups the page of cups so this is an opportunity to create something new here um, from this intuitive sense, from this fun sense, because that page has that youthful energy. So it could be you might receive a message about creating something new or collaborating with someone will, that will involve your sense of creativity and play and fun. Also an invitation to keep things light as much as you can, find of a balance of keeping things a little bit light and playful as you're working towards this or moving into this next chapter how can you find um, modes of play and excitement and creativity so that you're in touch with your intuition and things kind of mold or get, move organically and flow like water and you might be receiving news or messages or communication about that or offers um, at the very beginning stages of this it might not be fully um aware yet you might not be fully aware of it yet or might not all the way like be fully um panned out just yet or um it's not complete yet but this is the beginning an opportunity and what opportunities do you want to create for yourself that feel fun and finding that balance of feeling into your emotions this month but also making room to play making room for creativity um, you know music is coming through for some reason like connecting with music if, the, if that resonates with you or any kind of artistic form that will allow you to kind of feel the sense of play while you're working towards something and while this thing is ending while this this these lessons are being integrated and you know being really mindful of like what am I learning here or asking yourself what am I learning here what did I learn and how am I going to move forward and something else is coming up too is like it's okay if things didn't work out it's okay if things didn't work out. It's okay to feel sad about things not working out as well and taking good care of yourself as you're like moving to the next thing before you're just jumping on to a new opportunity, taking time to process things and then moving on. Um, but it's okay if things don't work out, you know, um, and it's okay to feel sad about that too. So yeah, definitely making space for new opportunities, but tuning into how you're feeling about that change. 
Um, the next uh, thing we're going to do is go on to the Oracle. We're going to use the wisdom of the Oracle and kind of check in to see what Oracle message we have for this month. So I'm going to hold the deck and take a few moments to ground with this deck and then we'll begin. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors who support our highest good, please assist us with what we need to know for this month of September. Thank you for your love, truth, and understanding. May we please have clarity and protection during this reading. Ashe, what do we need to know for the month of September? was going to come out. <laughs> I think that's, yeah, that's, that's what, yeah. We get new life, new life. Number 39, new life definitely has something to do with the world. Creating a new life for yourself, a new chapter, a new beginning is happening in some capacity. So opening yourself up to receiving that and giving yourself the space to process everything as you're going through this change. New life, number 39. New life, number 39. Okay, the essential meanings for this card are birth of new ideas, growth, opportunities, a breath of fresh air, life renewing itself. When spring awakens the world, joy and excitement can be felt around in your very core. Blossoms burst from the trees overnight and birds return home and sing their glorious song and nature is full of promise. Miracles beckon, beckon on all of us. This is one of those times in your life when new ideas inspire you and new opportunities bring you hope for seeing your dreams come true. All is well in your world and you have the new energy you feel to feel renewed. Allow your heart to feel this enthusiasm. Let your light shine, for this is a time of good fortune. So this is a great opportunity to create new things, thinking about what you want to create, and how you want to feel, but also balancing, feeling into your emotions and you know, not uh, disconnecting yourself from the world entirely. Yes, so yeah, this is a great opportunity to create something new this month, to, to get into that creative energy. I know that this is a springtime sort of card and we're going into the fall. <laughs> so like maybe an inner spring that is happening because, you know, leaves are beginning to fall and our, things are changing around us. So it's a great time to get things in order and prepare for this new change. So that wraps up the reading portion. I hope that this resonates with you. Um, if it does, feel free to leave a comment down below. And I hope this is helpful as you're continuing your journey in September. I also have some church announcements. I wanted to let you all know <laughs> about um, this 10 minute Reiki for collective care that I'm beginning um, every Wednesday on Instagram Live. You can find my Instagram information in the description box below. And this is devoted to um, sending Reiki and healing energy to causes, people, um, far, both near and far, because there's so much going on with our world, with our environment, with people um, being displaced. There's so much happening right now, and we can't turn a blind eye, especially in the healing arts realm. You can't turn a blind eye to everything that's going on or love and light it away. So this is an opportunity to bring in things, causes that you want to send healing energy to and not to stop there. I know that Reiki doesn't solve all of our problems. It takes action steps and in getting involved and in the things that you can have the capacity to work in and consistently being showing up for each other collectively. So I wanted to shift the, the Reiki for more of a collective sense of unity and sending healing energy. So that's every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my Instagram live. I feel free to come in and bring those requests in. I also wanted to tell you about the 
group distance Reiki healing sessions that are happening September 16th and September 28th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This will be via Zoom. This is for relaxation, ease, clearing energetic debris in your body, facilitating a good night's sleep. This is a wonderful session to get grounded and kind of clear your energy. It was wonderful last month working with those who showed up. It was really great. So if you're interested in that or learning more, feel free to check out my website in the link below. And also I am doing one hour tarot and oracle card readings, one-on-one -on -one readings. You can find out more about that on my website, link in the description box below. Take good care of yourselves this month, each other. I know it's a lot going on and it's hard to kind of manage everything. So take good care of yourselves, each other, and reach out to one another during these times. Thank you so much for your support. I look forward to seeing you soon and take good care. Bye.